Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Justin. This is my wife, Tracy, and this is our channel called Change It Up. This video is going to be everything that you need to do before you become a full-time traveler. So we're going to be hitting the road here in about two months. And what we're going to share in this video is 10 things that you need to do if you're thinking about hitting the road full-time this year. So we'll start off by kind of giving you a brief recap of how we're doing it because there's lots of different ways out there. We're going to be traveling month to month, staying in different Airbnbs. So this video is going to be specifically for people who might be thinking about doing the same. You want to change up where you're living every single month and do it Airbnb. But even if you're not planning on traveling using Airbnbs, you're still going to want to implement these 10 things that we're going to list here in this video because they're going to be applicable for anyone looking to travel full time and change up where they're living, whether that's in an RV or an Airbnb. So without further ado, here are the 10 things that you need to take care of before you can actually hit the road and stay tuned to the very end because we do have a very special bonus one as well. So number one, you need a reliable car or mode of transportation. It goes without being said, right? Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Um, so yeah, so this is something that we did some research. We went out, we upgraded our car. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned in the future because we'll be kind of doing some videos on how we did these things, the decisions we made and why. Um, but yeah, so number one, reliable car or mode of transportation. Number two, make sure you set all of your bills to electronic payments if you haven't done so already. I'm kind of old school. I like seeing all the money go out. So I actually write checks and mail it out. So I'm in the process of setting all of our bills up electronically so that we don't rely on a physical address anymore. Number three, you're gonna wanna scan all of your important documents um, so that you can easily access them from your computer, wherever you are. So this could be, um, you know, vet records if you're traveling with a pet, which we are. Um, it could be really anything that you might need. My mind's blanking on another example because pet records are always the first one that comes to mind yeah. <laughs> for me. But, um, but yeah, anything that you might need to pull up or reference um, quickly, someplace and yeah. obviously you can't travel with a filing cabinet so or... like birth certificates yeah. in case you need a second form of id um, vet records is a good one pretty much just brainstorm all of the possible important documents you might need and scan copies of those and keep those in a secure location for yourself because you won't have those once you hit the road full time birth certificate was a much better example but <laughs> out the gate with vet records vet re everybody <laughs> needs their vet records even if you don't have pets you need a vet record all right number four this is one you might not think about but you do actually probably need health insurance that is nationwide so tracy and i we currently have health insurance that is an exclusive provider so we can see anyone within the local area here at a certain deductible rate so we're looking into switching that up so that it is nationwide. So if one of us gets sick or hurt while we're out on the road, that we can still get health coverage. Number five, you're going to need a mailing address. So even if you're out traveling, you still need a physical address um, on file for lots of different things. Your driver's license needs an address. You know, registrations need address, yeah. voting registration. Um, so it's important you still have. I didn't think about voting. I wonder if we can go to different states and just keep voting everywhere. Go. <laughs> I'm going to try it. <laughs> um, now you've got me all sidetracked. Good. That's but, the plan. But yes, so so there's lots of different solutions out there based on our research. We um, are actually set up for full-time travelers. So I think the one we found that we're looking into is, I think it's Traveling Mailbox. Traveling or Mailbox. Digital Mailbox, something like that. But essentially, they give you a physical address. Your mail goes to them. They kind of take pictures of the envelopes and if you think it's something that you need to pay attention to then they'll scan it over to you um so that you can handle it on that side and, so, and they shred everything too yes yeah so they shred everything too if you're like no i don't need this or even if you do need it but you handle it you're just like yeah you 
good to shred, and they shred it and take care of it. And finally, somebody else has to open and read all the junk mail we get. Right. We didn't want to put that on our family members. If you've got family members who are like, a-okay with getting all of your mail, lucky you. Junk mail. But... <laughs> junk mail. Like 90% of the mail is junk mail. Number six, what are you doing with the house that you're currently living in? Now, if you're currently renting or leasing a house, is leasing a house a thing? If you're renting a house, you don't have to worry about it, right? Because you don't have anything to do with the house. You're just, your lease is up, your renting agreement's up and you're moving out. We actually own our house that we're recording this in right now. So what we're doing with our house is we're renting it out. So we're gonna continue to keep our house, make money on it as we rent it out. But if that's not an option for you, you're gonna have to probably sell your house. So you're gonna need to get that set up probably before any of these other things we've already mentioned. Um, if you are thinking about renting your house out too, you want to ask yourself, do you want to be the contact person, the quote landlord? Um, we're actually setting it up with a property management company because I don't want to get calls in the middle of the night because somebody locked themselves out of the house or, you know, the toilet clogged. Across the country. Yeah. I mean, if we're, yeah, 24 hour drive away, I don't want to be dealing with it. So we've hired a property uh, management company to rent our house out for us. So number seven, obviously, if we're getting, if we don't have a house anymore, we need to figure out what we're doing with all of the stuff all the that stuff. is currently in the house. So we can't pack it all up into our SUV. It'd be a big <laughs> SUV. <laughs> so maybe even more so than people who are traveling with campers and stuff, you really have to figure out, okay, what clothes do we need to take? What? Everything, everything, kitchen, all of that but um, even bigger stuff. So really figuring out what can we sell? What should we donate? Um, what are we gonna store? And then obviously what are the few things we're gonna take with us? So again, that's stuff that we're all currently working through, yep. trying to downsize and sort through all of that, um, which has been an interesting journey. But yeah, so Facebook Marketplace is good, local donation centers, um, and then obviously finding a storage unit place that is affordable or within your budget. Number eight, you need somewhat of a structure or a plan for where you're going. Now, in theory, I guess you wouldn't need this if you're the type of person who's just like, I just want to go wherever the wind takes me. I want to be a tumbleweed. But we actually are doing this. Part of the reason we're doing this is because there's a lot of different places in this country that we want to see before I become super old and decrepit <laughs> and Tracy has to push me around in a wheelchair, which should happen in about one to two years, I'm thinking. Lucky me. <laughs> so we are planning out a rough outline of where we want to go. Um, and that's where Tracy comes super in handy. This is her forte is long-term thinking and planning. And so we have a plan for the different places that we're gonna be going. So think out where you want to be going and then start to map that out, plan it out so that it fits. And then number nine, once you know kind of the general location of where you want to go, you need to find places to stay. So for us, since we're doing Airbnbs, um, for the most part, you know, obviously looking in the general vicinity of where we wanna stay and then um, filtering it by things that we might need as well. So we're doing this while we're traveling, or while we're traveling, <laughs> working full time as well. Wait, we're doing this while we're traveling? <laughs> Nailed it. Words are tough. <laughs> no but we both work remotely full time. So obviously Wi-Fi is a big one mm -hmm. and it needs to be reliable Wi-Fi. It's a necessity. Yeah, so we're traveling with a dog as well and it's not a, a little dog. Um, she's a 60 pound pogger. Pogger, yeah. Half, pig, half yeah. pig, half dog, pig dog hybrid. She's a pog. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously pet rules, pet policies are very important. And then your price range for your budgeting is also important. Um, so I would say those are the big three things we're filtering by, but yeah. again, more videos to come on exactly how we're doing that or why we've chosen some of the places we've chosen. All right, number 10, you have to plan out your budget. I always say these things and then I second guess myself. It's like, you don't have to do this. You're just gonna be, you're gonna regret not doing it <laughs> if you don't do it. You're gonna make it a lot harder if you don't plan out your budget. So when you're planning out your budget, think of all of the things that you will now have to pay for. So a big one for us is gonna be the stays at Airbnbs and Tracy mentioned, you know, we, that's one of our um, 
requirements when we're looking for Airbnbs, like it fits this certain range that we've determined is within our budget. Gas is also going to be another major expense item now as well as we travel and drive and visit different places. You still have bills, right? You might not have all of your normal house bills, but you still have bills like our phone bill, our car payment, our house insurance, because we're keeping our house. So remember to budget in all of those bills. And then of course, food. So if you're staying in Airbnbs like we are, if you're in an RV, you can do a lot of cooking at home, but you also might wanna go and visit a lot of restaurants depending on where you're at. So budget in the food. All right, and number 11 is our bonus. The bonus. Our bonus tip, hogger proofing your car. <laughs> so again, we have a pog. She is the pig dog hybrid. Yes. So if you are also traveling with a fairly large pig dog, dog hybrid, pig dog <laughs> hybrid <laughs> uh, that might shed a lot, mm. can sometimes get a little smelly mm -hmm. in between tubbies, um, mm. and also might not like staying in her seat all the time. Yeah, <laughs> please. So we have some nice tips on how to pog proof your car, including dog harnesses, mats, um, dividers and seat covers, really all of this different stuff. So again, another video coming later, but um, that is a number 11 tip. If you're traveling with a dog, really think through how you're gonna keep your space yeah. clean and also maintain the value of your car if that's important to you and the safety of your pog and the safety of your you pog don't want your pog course. flying out the windshield <laughs> when you slam on the brakes during a, a car traffic jam right a car jam that's a new one <laughs> don't get into any of those car jams y'all okay so those are our 10 plus the bonus tip for the things that you need to do and think through in order to actually get ready to hit the road full time. So if you're planning on doing the same, um, make sure you, you check those off your list. And also if anybody's watching this and you're thinking about doing the same, you're currently a full-time traveler like we're about to become and we didn't touch on anything that you think is super important, please do us a favor, drop that in the comments. That'll help us out. That'll help all of our viewers out as well. And thanks for checking this video out. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.